Hey guys, Carlos here from Angler's Lifestyle. I'm here at Sandy Wool Lake uh, fishing for trout. Um, the weather, it's nice, all right, but we still have these uh, hazy and a lot of this uh, unhealthy air situation that's uh, plaguing the Bay Area uh, with respect to the campfires that are uh, roaring uh, up in the Butte County and then Southern California as well. Uh, well, anyway, today I'm fishing at the lake with uh, Coach Rudy. You know, I've, I'm sure you've seen him in one of the videos that I've done. Coach Rudy has been asking me to do a catch and cook, all right? <laughs> and today he sort of forced the upper hand, right? And he said, I'm bringing the stuff so we can catch, all right? And cook the trout for lunch today. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. He already caught one on power bait this morning using um, uh, the Captain America uh, power bait. And I already got a hit uh, using just the standard uh, green pumpkin and garlic and I'm working the shallows. I'm also going to be using uh, the jigging technique and hopefully uh, the fish will come up and take that. So stay tuned and uh, totally excited. We're gonna do catch and cook today. I know uh, some of you viewers have been asking for that as well, but Coach Rudy is the one and he is the driving force towards this project. So, and I did promise you guys that sooner or later, we're gonna have to do that. I'm actually looking forward. You know, the best part is I'm not cooking. He is. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard we're using butter. <laughs> it's bad for me, but we're using butter. No, we also have olive oil, but we're using butter. So stay tuned. Catch and cook coming up. Uh, we have fish already taken our line. Really? Let's see. No. You took the bait. <laughs> okay, guys, we are working the point here at Sandy Wool. And I'm using again my cheap Walmart rod with my uh, Okuma Stratus uh, V10, my three pound line, uh, Maxima Ultra Green. And I've got uh, two split shots and about, what is this, 12 inches. All right, and I have uh, the uh, green pumpkin and garlic. And we had a hit already on my first set, but it didn't uh, stick. So he was a swim by fish. All right, so we'll go ahead and cast it in the same place. You'll be amazed how you, far you can actually cast this uh, rod. Look at that, at least 10 yards. Yep, all right. So, oh, Coach Rudy's getting a bite. He's excited. You hear the bell. Bell's going. Nothing? No. Missed it? All right. Okay, so since I'm gonna be meandering away from my rod quite a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bell on it, but I'm gonna put it lower, right here. Okay, so just kind of give me an audible, right? You don't wanna put it on the tip too much. I don't wanna affect its uh, uh, flex, but you know, this is enough to give me some type of indication just in case I walk away. Um, Coach Rudy's uh, line, as you can see over there, he's got bells right on the tip, okay? So truly, it's like one of those, you know, butler bells. Jeeves! Jeeves! <laughs> All right, hopefully we'll get another bite here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my uh, uh, jig, my ultralight and my jig, and we'll try that as well, just in case the fish is still swimming shallows. And based on my, you know, short cast, my shallow cast on this rod, I think they're still shallow. All right, stay tuned. All right, we're going to try and jig and see if fish is actually still there. This is a lighter jig. So I'm just gonna ever so slowly tap, 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 tap. And slowly reel. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 
I know, two to nothing. I I know, I I'm being I'm being outfished. I can't believe it. Oh, keep it underwater, dude. Let it let it swim. Could be a little one. Yeah, I think it's a little one. Could be a little one. That's why I wasn't sure if I could actually pick. I mean, if it's a little one, you just just release it. Unless you know. Let's see where's that. Oh no, he's okay. Yikes. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's a good size. Pan fry, dude. Dude, I'm gonna starve. <laughs> Julie, I'm gonna starve. Are you doing power bait? Do power bait. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just being a. I'm being hard headed, Grace. I'm being hard headed. See, he's doing the job. See, he's on. <laughs> My only job. See, it's it's the jiggling thing, uh, Grace. No, he, he he's gone. <laughs> so what is this? Babysitting? No, no babysitting. <laughs> Oh, okay. Right here. Right here. Get on top of it. I, I, I thought it was more fun watching you guys jump with the with my rod jiggling. <laughs> of no. course it took the bait. Yeah, go ahead, Lee, get him. <laughs> I'm sure he's still there. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh really? Alright. Man. Grace, Grace to me is like Lee to Janet. <laughs> so, you know, if she has a uh, catastrophic rig failure, Lee is there to help. Exactly. <laughs> Honey. Yeah. She goes, she goes, yeah, I felt like a princess. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> All right, Lee, here we go again. All right, you're gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Apparently, I have to use power bait. We've missed two so far. I know, right? Where's the fish going? Left to right, right to left? Right to left. <laughs> no, I want left to right. So is it like a screw, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey? There. Twice. All right. Don't walk away. Isn't that the name of the song? Don't walk away. <laughs> All right. I've removed the slack. All right. So, and I'm going to jiggle it again. That's what it worked out. That's what it worked last time. Yeah. Because Grace said I have to move it. Ah. <laughs> you lost it? Oh, he caught, she caught another one. Oh. Did you hear that background comment? Ah, bleep. So they just have a split shot, Anna. Yeah, you, you, you see Grace over there? Yeah, she's uh, causing trouble. Look, she's going to be... Uh, <laughs> she's dragging it in. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, Grace. <laughs> Look at her. Whoa. <laughs> Cheering squad. All right, I'm not going to starve today in the catch and cook. Yay. <laughs> no, but probably your jiggling did it. <laughs> You didn't? Oh, this is a big I one. Did move it in you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Hey, it's coming. Yes. Is that, on, is that on video? Yes, I got it on video. Just go around that way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Good.
All right, this time we put it right there, okay? So hopefully this thing will live a little longer than usual. Let's see, I'm gonna put it, let's put it here. You guys, uh, since the uh, pressure is off now, as far as uh, catching a fish, I'm going to switch to white par egg uh, because it's quite hazy out there and the worm okay these are the worms that i've been growing so i'm gonna go ahead and set this out same place as uh where we cast it before shallow so hopefully there'll be movements out there test it make sure that the power egg can, can keep that worm floating okay cast it out there and i can't imagine that the, this trout will not take a worm because they've been here for quite some time now. They're looking for food, they're hungry. So I should get a hit. Uh, water's a bit murky, so there's movement on the worm. So there should be a catch on this rig. I'm quite confident that there will be. But we'll see, do we have something in here? I've been told that there is. So this is the par egg, the white egg and it's a worm. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't you? <laughs> How about you? Are you sure it wasn't you? <laughs> oh. So, what do you think? It's called Let's Walk. Oh, it broke. Ah, okay, well then he's gonna have to live another day. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, this is the part that uh, we've all been waiting for. Uh, we've got uh, Coach Rudy here. Say hi Rudy. Hi. All right. <laughs> he is going to be our uh, culinary expert for today. As you can see, this is uh, his catch. This is probably his first one, right? That, that came today, morning. first thing this morning. And uh, what time did you get here? About 9.30, right? Mm -hmm. And he already immediately uh, caught it on um, Captain America par bait. Anyway, so looks like we're going to go ahead. He's already cleaned that off. I gutted it and removed all the gills. And he's just going to fillet. And we're eventually going to cook that. So this is the exciting part. So just watch. Here we go. All right. Uh, first thing is you got to have a... Uh, filleting knife <laughs> all right a sharp, a sharp uh, filleting knife right there and you need to get it off the bone see uh we're gonna cut through the pin bones too and we'll take them off in a second so the pin bones will come off later so for now we're just trying to get it off the uh the main spine there the main bone of the trout um I'm glad that he's doing this because filleting fish for my household <laughs> pretty much is a no-no because -no everything has to get eaten. Head, tail, fins, everything has to get eaten. Skin's um, the best. Skin's the best too. And uh, th this uh, trout, you know, the, the skin itself, um, you know, has some, has some uh, uh, scales, okay, but the scales are very soft, okay. Uh, you can still remove them if you would like, but essentially the will just peel it off or when you fry it, it just becomes crispy when you fry it. Uh, when you are uh, steaming it or when you are baking it, uh, the, the scale is a bit annoying. So this way, when you're frying it, okay, the scales would just get crispy and of course it'll get eaten. So now we're resorting to a uh, using the, the, table. <laughs> the table as the way to fill <laughs> yeah <laughs> so obviously when you're in the military cooking in the field uh, it's nothing new <laughs> but <laughs> there yep. you go so the skin is gone there you go i'm sure my children you showed that they'll be like dad <laughs> Why are you guys tossing the skin? That's like the best part. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I can't wait to eat this trout. Then again, I can't wait for my uh, last uh, rig using a worm and see if it'll actually 
bite the worm. Everybody's fishing with power bait and my fish that I caught is also using power bait. Uh, but I'm gonna switch to jigging again using a different colored jig to see if it'll entice them. Uh, fish is still uh, swimming uh, shallow. Uh, these ones that Rudy caught um, were a bit on the deeper side so he pretty much cast it almost you know to the other side of the <laughs> lake where we're at. <laughs> But as, it, as he continues to fillet, okay, again, filleting skills come in hand here. Maybe someday we can do a video on how to fillet effectively. Um, again, yeah, not like this. Yeah. <laughs> again, uh, you know, you have the key to filleting is you have to have a sharp knife. And uh, once you've filleted that, uh, the main meat you just have to keep the skin connected to the spine and then run your knife across <laughs> without shredding your Shred. meat <laughs> there Shred. we go <laughs> there we go so now i probably get a little bit more over this there we go Get a little bit more. Oh okay. <laughs> man. So good. Oh boy, the flaying gods would say, Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know, I'm gonna get bad comments for this. <laughs> but that's okay. Here we go. It's been filleted. So now obviously we're gonna make sure that we rinse this uh, fish. Okay, and there is uh, running water here um, at the sandy wool, although there is no cleaning station. Man. So we, you know, we want to ask the city of Milpitas and Santa Clara County to please, please, please consider putting a cleaning station here at Sandy Wool. I think it's time, you know, and even if it was just a, a small portable one, there's already running water and uh, I can only imagine that drainage would be an issue, but why not drain it into the lake, feed it back into the lake to help the ecosystem. So now uh, Coach Rudy is uh, removing the pin bones so that we don't choke ourselves. You know, just uh, dry the fish with a paper towel. And after you've done that, we will be adding the seasoning. What is that, salt? Just salt. Just salt, here we go. Salt's going in. More salt, 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 and more salt. <laughs> now pepper's going in. Here we go, guys. Pepper's going in. Touch of garlic. And a touch of garlic powder. Which is food of the gods, not food of vampires. Okay, so uh, this uh, cooking, uh, what is that? Is that a propane? This is a, an MSR white fuel uh, camp stove. So it'll take just about any type of fuel. But this one is using white gas. Oops. So he's got this shield here to uh, prevent the uh, wind from blowing off this uh, Looks like it's a, what is that? Like a micro, like a super portable white gas stove. Like a little burner. If I can get to work. Assuming we can get it to work, of course. Okay, just like anything else, uh, Murphy's Law <laughs> took over. <laughs> we seem to be having problem with our uh, little stove here. And uh, the little stove is not working. So, Hopefully uh, we can get this thing to work. We may have to employ a new friend called Jerry. <laughs> get it? We're gonna go ahead and Jerry rig it. Even a catch and cook, you have to have a backup plan. So, right. you know, all these uh, uh, master chefs out there, you know, I bet you they wouldn't have this problem because they probably have a crew, an entire crew in the background to say, get me under the stove. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Get me under the stove. Gordon Ramsay style. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay style. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Gordon. I hope you're here instead because you wouldn't have this issue. 
I don't know, brother. I don't know. I think we're going to have a new title for this video. Catch uh, or catch try to. <laughs> we're going to call it Catch and Filet. Uh, tried to love. cook. A catch and Filet tried to cook, but the you know cooking equipment has failed on us. So stay tuned and we'll see if we get any further action. Like we have possibly fish here or not. Or I just decided I wanted to take the uh, the worm that's on the other end. False alarm. Are you are you out of here? Yeah, I gotta go get the kids. Okay. All right. Well, till we meet again. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no worries. Anytime. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we'll do it again. You need you need fish companion <laughs> for uh, the rest of your uh, catch there. How many do you have? Do you have three? Two. Two? Oh, yeah. Definitely bring home the one that you filleted already. Yes. Yeah. On the jig. Let's see if we caught it on the, the hook, right, right on the lip. Yep. This was probably about maybe five yards from the shore. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, but I think he's stuck in the... Oh no, he got away. All right. Oh no. Where is it stuck? See, it's like he's stuck to my line that got snagged before. <laughs> you see it? I have a long net that probably could reach it. Probably. You want me to hold yeah, can it you hold that real quick? Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. Look at that. And he's like a teeny tiny dude. Well, not really. He's it's okay. <laughs> What's your name? George. George. Thanks, man. Nice, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Look, and it's he's like lip hook on that jig. Yep, he's got it. Right? Yep. And that note, <laughs> what is the lesson to learn here? Get a long net. Yeah, get a long net. Because <laughs> you, right? your fish is just right there at the edge. Get a long net. Holy cow. Can't believe it. Oh. And he's the guy that stole my last... Uh, worm yeah why i know the worm is still in his mouth oh is it yep <laughs> so i caught him twice <laughs> okay guys look at this this guy stole my last uh worm and he you know got lost over here and got snagged and you can see right there you see the worm is still in his mouth so i caught him twice i he, uh, caught him on a jig the second time and I caught him on a worm <laughs> the first time. <laughs> Thanks to George. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thought I would have seen any everything. The tay. Well guys, it's been an interesting kind of fishing day. I tried different jigs and I've also um, used power bait only because Grace, <laughs> Grace kept on uh, encouraging me to use power bait to catch more fish. I'm not here today to limit out on fish, but more like to uh, try uh, and uh, get used to using jigs, get used to uh, the ways and on how to uh, better 
uh, feel that fish when I'm jigging and it's interesting like I said when there's fish out there um, it's really cool to use jigs so I highly recommend that you guys uh, definitely try out get yourself some jigs and get a variety of different ones different tubes uh, different type of uh, uh, football uh, type of jigs and uh, with hooks obviously and uh, go ahead and give that a try Anyway, we started out the day with uh, all plans of doing a catch and uh, cook, uh, but uh, unfortunately the uh, stove that uh, Coach Rudy brought uh, failed on us. So, but I don't want to disappoint, so I'm going to continue this video at home where I will prepare one of the dishes that my family absolutely love. We're going to go ahead and steam some uh, trout tonight and we're going to prepare it Asian style. So anyway, so stay tuned and we'll show you that cooking portion of this video.